You've probably seen great live streams with awesome multi-camera setups, and it's not as difficult as you would think. I'm gonna show you how to do it today, two different ways in OBS Studio, so let's get to it. My name is Michael Fire Jr. This channel is all about helping you grow on YouTube. There's lots of stuff here with tools and other things that can help you become a better YouTuber, and if that's something you're into, please subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you know when I have new content coming out. OBS Studio is a free software that you can use to live stream to YouTube, Facebook, or any other streaming platform. I'm gonna tell you how to set up a multi-camera broadcast today, and I'm gonna show you two different ways. Each one has their own benefits so that you can decide which way you wanna go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new scene. So we'll click the plus sign. We're gonna call this multi-camera. Now we're gonna to go to the plus sign again. We're gonna add a video capture device. Let's call this camera one. Let's go select our cam link. Then we're going to set this to high so we get the highest resolution that the camera is capable of doing. We're gonna click OK. So now we're gonna add a second camera. Here we go to video capture device again. And let's put camera two. For this, I'm going to select my laptop camera and 720 is the highest this goes, but we're gonna add it anyways. And click OK. And you can see the way that this is set up. I can stretch this all the way across. This is how you would add two cameras in one setup. I'm using my laptop here. I'm using my DSLR over there. You can see that I just click. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put camera two below camera one. And all I have to do is deselect one and I get the other camera. If you wanna add two cameras in one scene, that's all you have to do. Now, I didn't add any audio sources in here. I can do that. Let's add uh, an audio source. Use this microphone that you could see in camera two. This is the microphone. I have it covered up so that when I use the green screen over there, yeah, it's all good. So that's how you add two cameras to a single scene. Let's say we wanted to have this camera in this scene. Let's add another scene. And we'll call this camera scene. Why not? right cam scene mm -hmm. yeah and then we go in here and we will add our second camera here video capture device and we are going to add an existing we already know that's camera two and boom if you add your cameras this way it's easy to just click on one scene or the other and if you have a transition in there it'll do the transition back and forth you can see I have a slide transition so it slides it up when I click from one to the other. But you also have to keep in mind, you can see here I have audio on this one. I have to set up all the same audio on this one. So I would have to go in here and add in the same audio input capture and add the existing cap audio. And now you can see I have audio here. So that's what you have to do. You have to add the audio if you decide to go with two scenes. For me, I like to have everything in one scene. So let me show you my full scene. Here's my normal live broadcast. If I decide I wanna go with the other one, boom, you can see I don't have the lighting set up right here. I have the lighting set up for a video, not for any green screen. So it doesn't look great, but you can see that this is this camera here and then this is this camera here. All right, so the reasons why you would keep everything in one scene, I like to do a lot of soundboard stuff, which means I can just press a number on my keyboard and I set up the audio within the same scene and that gives me some audio things I can play with during the stream and also musical selections. But there are some benefits to doing two scenes. One, you can do transitions in between each scene so that if you have it like I do where one camera is severely offset from the other, you can have that transition so it doesn't look so unnatural when you move from one camera to another. And you can still do all the soundboarding stuff. You just have to set it up in each scene individually, which I think is kind of a pain in the butt, but 
It's up to you. The separate scene might be more professional and you can set up different soundboard items in one scene than another, which could be some kind of fun, cool things you can play around with. Either way, upcoming in some videos, I'm gonna show you how to set up a soundboard in your OBS, and I'm also going to show you how to set up green screen and light it properly so you can use that in your OBS. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so if that's something you're interested in seeing. If you're interested in knowing how to record your screen on OBS, this is a video you might want to check out right here. Or if you want to see a video YouTube recommends, check this video out right here. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there and film something awesome today. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.